Hi, this is Carmen. I'm so happy to see you today. Come on in, come on in. So I'm a little frustrated. I'm working, um, but I'm also listening to the Raleigh City Council meeting, the one o'clock session. And here at the end, when reports are being made, um, the mayor reports um, on a couple of things. And then her third thing is on the Downtown South project which of course is not publicly noticed at all. And she says, um, I'd like to make arrangements for a special meeting in, um, in December, uh, in, uh, uh, maybe on the 15th. So she um, makes a motion to have a special meeting, uh, a special, or no, she wants to make uh, a public hearing. She wants to notice of a public hearing because there's a time limit. So for, she has asked for a public hearing on the Downtown South Project for the Raleigh City Council to hear from people who um, have concerns or are in favor on December 15th. That will be from 7 to 9 p.m. Um, and then, and this is in case the Planning Commission reports the Downtown South Project out after its December 8th meeting, which would be next Tuesday. Um, and then a second uh, a, a special meeting of the city council, because it's not scheduled, for December 17th to um, discuss and vote on the project. You know, it, it, it just boggles my mind that you don't want to let the process go the way it's supposed to go, because John Kane, Kane Realty, has said that they have to have the rezoning done by the uh, now in order to complete purchase of property by the end of the year. That's his problem. That shouldn't be the citizens of the city's problem. And the mayor should not be carrying his water bucket to make sure that what he needs done is done. That's not right. That's not what she was elected for. That's not what any of the council members were elected for. But yet and still, it was a six to one vote. Councilor Cox was the only one to vote against this process. It's not right. Um, and if you don't know, the city council two weeks ago changed the process for how long people were allowed to speak. Used to be you were able to speak for three minutes at, a, at a, a public meeting. That was changed. There's a tier now. So if more than 10 people want, if, if 10 people or less want to speak, they have three minutes to speak a piece. If more than uh, 10, uh, I think up to 20, want to speak, then you get two minutes to speak. And if more than that, it gets cut to one minute. It, you know, make up your mind what you want to do. If you don't want to serve the people, then don't serve the people. Just serve the developers. That's all that there is here, obviously. Um, I, I'm frustrated with having watched or listened to this program, to this um, city council meeting today, and so I'm going to make those comments when they have city council meeting tonight. Um, I will say that, but there, there's no opportunity for discussion of so many things that the citizens are need to be noticed about. And so I'm sure the notice will go out in the newspaper or wherever places are that people don't pay attention to to find out about these things. So it will once again be up to citizens of this city to make sure that people in the community know what is going on with the city council. Thank you. That's all I have for today.